they're hungry. It's 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, we had to leave like 40 minutes ago to come get you. Yeah. What's up? Go to the vet. Well, it's a day ending in the letter Y, so here we are at Cat Care. Because that's what we do. Cat in front of our house is being weird. What you doing, kitten cat? Did you get hit? Are you okay? No. Oh, it's fine. So yesterday, Chip demolished all of that. See, up to the little wall that we have there. So he told me I should work on blueberries today. Kidding. Ugh. Getting to the blueberries. These are the blueberries. Can't tell. That was fun. I had to cut a little path for myself through there. Yuck. I built these so long ago, these steps. And that little, those walls. So cool. He built that a long time ago. So, oh, that's kiwi back there. That big mess. There is something in my shoe. Okay. So the blackberry, I mean the blueberry start right there, or the left side of the screen, and go all the way to where my chair is. So let's get busy. He's so conflicted. Look at him. He's terrified. He's like, oh, I hate this world because Jim has the baby you're going. But mom's right here, and so what does he do? It's like, I have to be with mom. But there's that noise. Look, we got all that cleaned out already. Yes, we did. Clark, you're okay. You're okay. Clean, right here. I'm trying to clean out all the dead leaves and stuff there. He won't move. He absolutely will not move. Like, this is where I'm trying to work. It's like, no. Because I'm alive here now. Okay, well, we'll just... We'll just do this part later. This three feet, I'll wait on. Clark, why are you being so goofy? An hour into this or so, Clark's found another spot to lay. He stopped laying right where I'm working though, so that's good. I got that whole side of the blueberries done, you can't see it. And then this side still, and then Jim attacked the grapes and the kiwi. The kiwi's up there, it's very pretty, but yeah, I got some work to do. Gotta get through here, I'm not sure what I just do. Get rid of the blackberries. You have more room to grow back in mounds. Yeah. Look at that. More back in mounds are growing in the blueberry bed now instead of blackberries. Hi, guys. Did you guys have to look at it? It's a big nappy place for you. All right, out. So we are done. Full five. And then I'm going to work in this later. We've got, um, Taken back up. It's kiwi. And there's a metal frame in there that was holding it up, but that has long been crushed by the plant. Looks neat. But look at this. These are now what blueberries are supposed to look like. I think they were fighting for sun between the grapes and the kiwi had arched over and like wound around the blueberry stick. But now we have to get rid of all this. Look at that. But look at that. Yeah. That is exciting. Woo! 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 I wonder if I'll get more back in here since they can grow so well over there. Look. Hi, Jim. There it is. You can see it on both Mary was either a four inch or a gallon. I don't remember. Many, many years ago. Look at this. It's like a shrub now. It's like a head. Blackberries like deep inside it. I don't really know the best way to cut it though. I cut it back a little bit, but a lot of our things that have been neglected are like this. They like are kind of falling over and then the center it's all dead. And I don't know how to reshape and guide this and get rid of the dead stuff without, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I don't want to kill it. Alrighty. Hi, Jim. Oh, there's my greenhouse. We uncovered it. Not that I ever use it because there's no power in it. I need power in it. Ah. Okay, bye, Basset Hounds. See you later. That's looking real attractive. It's time for my injection. And uh, I'm covered in landscaping dirt. Nice. Very oh. killing. Oh, my God, my foot was on that. Uh, 
I lost one fifth of one pound, which I'm gonna say is not accurate because I went in at 145 and I had had yogurt early, like at six in the morning and then Jim and I went to breakfast after we, oh, I gotta pick up Gregory, crap. That is in an hour and a half. So I guess I'll go to Benita and come back and get him. Um, so I had a breakfast then and there was a lot of salt. So I'm holding water from the air. I, I'm pretty sure that I just actually absorb water from the air and, and it like hangs out in my ankles. It's how it will, it's how it will. So next week I go in at 11, which isn't great, but it's way better. So I should see a bigger drop next week because whatever I had lost this last week did not show up today. Oh, I smell like rosemary, very strong. She could smell it on me. Yeah, I've been crawling through it all the time. You're never home. Something really big in my right shoe. Oh, it's so itchy. I'm right going to get in trouble. Bye, Clove. Sorry, you're not coming. Okay. Let's see this. So I did, did upgrade to a bigger tank or tub. So, so it's not as impressive. I should have put it back in there because I did squeeze it in. So. Well, there's tens and twenties too. Oh, yeah, and they're all counted. Fives and ones. Yeah, all of these are fives. Oh, those are each five. Five. Ones. Yeah. Holy crap. The ones are all two fifty. Oh, the what fives all these plastic bags? are all a thousand. Well, I was organizing them. Let's go pay off half a house. Yeah, so there's... Virtual assistant was uploading photos for Elmira for the inspection day, and she said, you have to have 20 photos. I had 18, so I guess you're back out here to do this one. However, I had a $35 inspection to do, so at least it wasn't for nothing. So I'm here to take two pictures and then get out. Normal taking a toad into the bank. They're mostly singles, like right. There's some 20s down here. Oh my God, there it all goes. Okay. This is gonna be constant the whole way to take him back to his home. Oh, now he's quiet. Yeah, hi Gregory. He's not very happy with me. He will scream the whole way. Generally, he gives me a headache. It's stop, stop. A little stack of fives that we're gonna deposit. There's a bunch more over here too. We'll just see how much I can get away with depositing here. Seven o'clock, six fifty-eight. Jim went in a little bit ago to make dinner, and I was supposed to follow him, and I stayed out here and did more. I'm getting these clumps of like gross grass. Ugh, this one's not done. That one's done. And a bunch of oregano there. I am just so tired. <laughs> Raked. Jim said raking is aerobic activity. Okay. So, anyway, see this grass. I hate it. I'm gonna get rid of that. So, I raked all that. Jim didn't work on that while I was gone. But this area I love. It's very peaceful. So, we got the first bed done, basically. Got one, two, three. Five more, five more to go on that side. One, two, three on this side, then all of that fiasco. But right here, it's clear. So is the way other end of that. Video, here we go. Where we're at today, it's Thursday. Is it the 12th of June? I don't know. So we've got, oh, there's a big pile. My beautiful greenhouse that I used one year and everything in it got bugs and oh, it's frustrating. Another big pile. Oh, remember that wood flat there was the base foundation of the old shop that was built before the house. So it really made me sad when we had to take it down, but it was beyond saving. And there's the side. Yeah, there's some blackberries there still. Mm -hmm. Work on that tomorrow, maybe. And then the big yard over there. So we've got all those knocked down. Need to actually take a lot of stuff to the garbage place. Excuse me, Clark Bark. Okay. Or don't. That's fine too. That's all trash up there. Stupid morning glory is growing back. And I think I see one blackberry. Oh, there's yeah, it's this huge thing here, and you just dig that out. Look, it's so wide. It's crazy. It's so crazy. 
This is the like more shaded part of the yard deck. Do a finish the yard tour. I hope Jim's actually making it and I didn't just come up here. Do not even think about eating my gloves, Scarlet. Here we go, part two. Ooh. Yeah, those are my steps. Oh, it's a wonder I don't get hurt more often. So there's the old shop on this side. I was telling Jim earlier, this is my favorite thing left in the yard. This was solid block for two days ago. So we're doing really well. I still have to come and cut them at the ground level and spray out. But Jim, oh, years ago, built this little wall here and this one. And this one up to the old shop, which is gone now. And then little steps there. Because we have such a big change in elevation in this yard that um, I had to do something to smooth it up. That is a fabulous shot. Okay, so house, greenhouse house. This is like never gonna be pretty because the trees are so huge that there's no sun. So can't have like grass here. But, oh my gosh, what a mess, huh? Look at this ground. It's just branches that knock down blackberries. Oh, my legs are burning. I've been working for days out here. And then we go back here. It's a lot of work back here. All those round things that want to break my ankle. Walnuts from years past. There's the fence line. There's the mound. All those trees, I cut everything off. Hoping I killed them, but I doubt it because I want them to die. Oh, I can't get over there. I'll have to go this way. Hi, Viv. Hi, I think this is like one of my foreclosure listings. How bad and ugly it is here. I did this the other day. It needs to be raked up again. There's the caddy that we built when I broke my ankle and leg twice. Both of them twice. And there's our beautiful pond that isn't beautiful anymore. <laughs> It's going to get completely ripped out, relocated. That makes me sad. This tree fell down, apparently years ago. And then, oh. hey kids, how's it going? More mess, and then this. Uh-oh, I don't know if I can get in here. This is the chicken coop, but I put cat fence on the top, but it has bent down. I don't even know if I can get into it. Oh, we can. So this was our chicken coop years ago. And yeah, I put this perfect fence, it's called. Oh. It needs the leaves to get out. See, the cats can't get out. Anyway, this was a dog kennel originally. And then I was like, I hate keeping the dogs in there. Like, what, 18 years ago when we moved in? Oh, hey, there's another chicken. Um, and so then we put the chickens in here, but we don't have chickens anymore. So, I mean, I could almost take this fence out, but maybe someday I'll want this again. I'm just going to leave this open because the dogs might want to explore in there. And then oddly enough, this silly little tiny fence keeps our dogs in now. We didn't used to, and then that goes to the front yard. When they were puppies, they just climb these trees and hop right on out. All right, well, there is my disgusting Maxi yard that I've shown you guys. It's utterly embarrassing. But last year I wasn't stable enough to do yard work and the year before I spent the summer in a hospital bed. So yeah, things went downhill pretty fast. Very deformed box for that. That shop's going to be fun to tear out. Hi, Scarlett. Dogs at play. Play, dogs, play. Jim used to limb this tree. Okay, I'm hungry and I'm so hot and sticky. I gotta go shower. My steps. Safety first. No, this is not better than $10,000. These are all quarters. Oh, I do like quarters. Wait, those are dimes. And quarters, these are nickels. Quarters. Those are quarters and quarters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 